Balloon curls, made from entertainer balloons, are a quick and easy way to add detail to deliveries and balloon decor. For this design, Sue is going to use two 60Q balloons. To begin, fully inflate and remove the air from two 260Q balloons. Pre-inflating the balloons will stretch the balloon and create a more flexible balloon to work with when forming the curly. Using a pocket pump or a short length of tubing, place the tip of the 260Q at one end of the pump and use your thumb to hold the balloon in position. Carefully wrap the 260Q around the pump, making sure to keep the balloon flat against the pump, avoiding any twists in the balloon. Inflate the 260Q and watch the curly come to life. Allow a little air out of the 260Q before you tie it to remove the tension from the balloon. Repeat the same process for the second 260Q. Sue is inflating the 260Qs using a high-powered electric balloon inflator. But you can also use a hand pump if you have help to secure the tip of the 260Q during inflation. Remove the excess latex necks on both 260Q balloons. Find the center of the curled 260Q and twist to split it into two sections. Repeat with a second 260Q and twist both 260Qs together to create a curly cluster. The curly cluster can be secured to the base of a balloon of your choice. Sue is adding hers to a helium-filled 22-inch bubble balloon. Pull the neck of the bubble into the center of the curly cluster and carefully wrap the cluster around the bubble balloon valve. You can also curl 160Q balloons. Start by pre-inflating and removing the air from a 160Q balloon. Place the tip of the 160Q at one end of the pump and use your thumb to hold the balloon in position. Carefully wrap the 160Q around the pump, making sure to keep the balloon flat against the pump, avoiding twists in the balloon. Inflate the balloon using a high-powered electric balloon pump and tie the balloon. If you need tight, precise 260Q curls, you will need a 260Q and 160Q in the same color. Slide the 160Q inside the 260Q until the necks are even. Locate the tip of the 160Q inside the 260Q and tie to keep the 160Q in place. Pull the neck of the 160Q out from the 260Q and secure between two fingers. Using a hand pump, gently inflate the 260Q and watch the curls appear. Remove a bit of air to soften the balloon, twist the necks a few times to prevent air from escaping, and tie the necks of the balloons. Hide the tip of the 260Q by pushing it into the end of the curly. The tension will keep it hidden.